Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to monitor the conversion rate of your opt-in page inside of the WordPress dashboard. Now, growing your email list is one of the biggest and most important steps in your online business. And the whole DIY sales funnel video series is really built around growing that email list and then making offers. So monitoring the effectiveness of your opt-in pages is key. And when you first build your opt-in page, it's not automatically tracking your conversion rate. So we're gonna jump on the computer. You're gonna see exactly how to set that up in this video here. And then we'll look at another site where I have this running so you'll understand how to look at the actual data that you'll be receiving. So give me a couple of minutes and I'll walk you through the whole process. First and foremost, I do wanna remind you that this is one step within the greater DIY sales funnel video series. If you're on my channel, you can click on playlists to get to it, but you can also just search DIY sales funnel. And you'll see right here, this is the full series. Uh, this is the first video. So if you're missing any of the steps up to this point, they're all covered inside of this playlist here, but let's move forward. Now there's two ways to get to the place where you need to be to actually set this up. Number one is through your pages. You go find the page that you're currently running as your opt-in page and you click edit with Thrive Architect. The second way to go about it is to essentially go to the page itself when you're logged in. You can see I'm there here and you simply click on edit with Thrive Architect up top. I've already got that loaded. So here we are in the Thrive Architect window where I can manipulate and edit the landing page and I click create new AB test up here. If you don't have this little kind of icon or this little button, you don't yet have Thrive's um, Optimize plugin installed. And Optimize plugin by Thrive is a part of their membership, which you can get at milesbeckler.com forward slash Thrive. And it works with the Thrive Architect plugin. So again, if you don't see it here, you're probably already a member. Just go log in and download it. The download for the plugin will be there and install it but you click on create new AB test up here. And what it's going to do is bring you into their split testing tool, but you don't need to be running a split test. We're going to do what's called an AA split test just to get the actual data showing. So I clicked on the clone or the duplicate this variation button. So now I have two variants of the exact same opt-in page sitting right here. And you can see the traffic is being split 50% and 50%. This is all I need to do. And I click set up and start AB test. I'm going to put AA test here just to keep myself kind of understanding that this is an AA test. We now choose the goal page. You need to know which page is the goal for your uh, opt-in page. You can, you obviously you set this up. So you should know what this is. Mine is thank you. So I'm just going to search for thank you. It's going to auto populate and I'm going to click on thank you. And then I simply click start a B test. Now this is going to begin rotating all traffic that enters to what is my home page. It could be a sub page for you, but it's going to send all of my traffic split 50% to two variations of the exact same page. So it doesn't matter which variation they go to, they are going to see the exact same page. This is an AA split test. So what we're doing is we're setting a baseline for my data. I don't need to create a split test right away. I just want to know what my first version is going to get me as far as an opt-in percentage rate. Then the goal is to beat your opt-in rate through a B split testing, where you test different headlines, different layouts, different offers, etc. But you always want to start by getting that first AA split test data to find out what is your conversion rate. Now, since I just set up this new split test here, there's not going to be any data running through it, but I've had one running on my main site, the milesbeckler.com site for at least a week or two. So I've got some data running through it. And at this point, we're going to jump in and you're going to understand how to analyze and look at the data. It's also going to give us a really interesting take on um, statistical significance, which you've probably heard me talk about before. So you can see I'm on the milesbeckler.com website. I've simply gone down here to the Thrive dashboard dashboard and I'm going to choose the thrive optimize option, which is the same tool that we use to set up the AA split test on that other site. 
and it will load right here. And this is my last 30 days of statistics. I've had over 1,100 visitors, about 500 subscribers, which brings me to a total of a 44% conversion rate. So this is what the ultimate goal is. This is why we've added this on, is so you can log in through your WordPress dashboard. You simply click on the Thrive Optimize option down here under the Thrive dashboard, and then instantly you see what your conversion rate is. But it gets a little bit better. You can click the View Test Result or uh, view test details, it actually says. And what it's gonna show you is this is actually the two variations working together. And you'll notice at first there was a massive discrepancy. So on one day it was a 56% and a 40%, which is a 16% difference between the two. And I want you to see real quick, I want, I'm gonna click this little uh, pop out icon. I'm holding control and I'm clicking the first one, which opened it in a tab. And I'm doing the second one, which opened it in a tab. I want you to be able to see that these are the exact same opt-in pages. So here's the one you probably saw me set this up in a split test. And here's the other one. There is zero changes between these two, but yet there's a big difference in how they work as far as the statistics. And this is such a clear example of why you need to allow your split tests, AA and AB tests, to run for long periods of time because there's no difference between the two pages and I was getting a 16% variance. But now over the course of about I believe this is 30 days or so, you can see that my opt-in percentage rate is really, really closing in, the gap gets narrower, and I've found that ultimately this page, this variation is essentially converting at about 43% right here is what I'm able to see. And that's the goal, is for you to be able to monitor and know exactly what your opt-in rate is, and that's what we've done here. When you set up your first opt-in page, I would recommend right away installing the, op, the Thrive Optimize plugin, setting up your first AA split test and just letting it be. Go back to your content marketing, continue to drive traffic to your opt-in pages. It will accumulate data for you. Check back in a week or two and see what your opt-in rate is. If you're ready at that point in time to run a test, I have a video that I'll show on the end screen that will show you how to set up a split test where you're split testing a variation with this tool. And then your goal is to just improve upon your baseline results always it's you versus you you're competing with yourself only and you want to find those headlines those offers those words and phrases that get your audience to take action because that's how you grow your list more effectively right going from a 25 percent opt-in rate to a 50 percent opt-in rate is actually a 100 percent increase in the growth rate of your email list and effectively you would be getting twice as many leads for the exact same traffic. And that's the true value of split testing, but you gotta know what your baseline is. So set this up. I hope this has been helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. Be sure you subscribe uh, to get the newest videos. I got another great video coming out in a couple of days. I put out three videos per week, a lot of tactical how-to stuff to build a successful business online. I'm also going to have uh, my free course pop up on the end screen. It'll look like a little book. If you click that, you can get my free course that teaches the seven steps to, or essentially how I went from a side hustle to a full-time internet business in seven steps. I give that away for free. It's a full online course, 100% delivered on my website. You'll get a, a username, password, full access for free when you click that and join there. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, get your first test running, which is an AA test so you can see what your opt-in percentage rate is inside of the WordPress dashboard. And I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, be well.